last week I've been training hard for my row around Britain and I thought I'd be rewarded with beautifully restorative deep sleep. But I'm pretty sure that my sleep is getting worse. So what's going on? What does the research say about exercise and sleep? Well, if you look at any large population, those people who exercise regularly tend to sleep for longer and have better quality sleep. But they also tend to be the people who don't smoke, eat healthily, have less screen time and have better mental health. So in order to tease out whether exercise is driving the good sleep, scientists have conducted trials where they take inactive populations with insomnia and randomize them to either start a new exercise regime or some other kind of control intervention and follow up over time. These types of studies provide strong evidence that moderate exercise helps middle-aged and elderly adults with insomnia to fall asleep around 10 minutes faster and to stay asleep for around 20 minutes longer. In fact, it's been argued that the benefits of exercise are comparable to sleeping pills for insomnia. And the type of exercise doesn't even have to be that intense. Doing Tai Chi three times a week in an elderly population led to similar benefits to more aerobic exercise. The most consistent benefits seem to come with moderate exercise three times a week for 12 weeks or more. Exercise releases feel-good endorphins and helps us regulate emotions, and that feel-good factor is likely to be important for sleep. Cycles of exercise and recovery may also help to teach the body to switch off that fight-or-flight stress response, turning off the tap of adrenaline and cortisol, which interferes with sleep. Movement, like light, can also influence our circadian rhythms. So morning exercise can send a strong alerting signal to the brain that it's time to start the clock on the day. Exercising outside in natural light can supersize its energizing clock sinking effects. Exercise also influences body temperature. And it may be that as the body cools down after exercise, this helps the body to learn how to cool down before sleep. In lab studies, just 30 minutes of moderate exercise can help to enhance the stability of slow wave sleep. That's the type of juicy, physically restorative sleep when growth hormone is produced and muscles are repaired. Well, that all sounds great. So why has my training led to more restless sleep? Well, all of these studies have looked at people who are usually sedentary and added activity. But if you're already active, it doesn't necessarily mean that more exercise is going to have the same effects. In fact, many professional athletes struggle with sleep. The challenges that they face include frequent travel, waking for early morning training sessions, and struggling to wind down and switch off after adrenaline fueled evening competitions. Injuries, aches, pains, even a few blisters can also help keep you awake at night and dehydration and hunger can also interfere with sleep. Perhaps more importantly, excessive training can act as a stressor on the body, promoting inflammation, which can interfere with sleep processes. Insomnia can be a hallmark sign of overreaching or overtraining. And this is why it's so important that athletes and wannabe athletes like me make sure they make time in their schedule to recover in between training and competitions. Just because you're physically fit, it doesn't protect you against insomnia. So in conclusion, yes, absolutely, exercise is sleep medicine, but just like any other medicine, you can have too much of a good thing. I'll certainly build in a little bit more time for recovery this week. Thanks for listening and sleep well. If you found this helpful, you can follow my GB rowing adventure on Instagram at Dr. Sophie Bostock or visit my fundraising page on Just Giving.